Welcome everyone, this is Franz Jean-Gilles from your favorite live group. Now, if you remember, I posted a message on Facebook the last time, and what I said is I was not too happy about the quality of the recording. And I want to start something new for me, and for you guys. I decided to start recording myself. Because I realize sometimes we want to see who is talking and having an audio recording is not always the best. So let's go right into the subject of today. The subject is purpose of feelings. And I think this is something very important. I grew up in church and they made me believe that Feelings was an ugly thing. Feeling was causing a lot of drama. Feeling is the reason why your life is unstable. But the reality is, you can use your feelings to accomplish what God has in reserve for you. First thing, let's speak about the truth. The devil never created feelings. The devil cannot create anything. Remember, when he was cast out from heaven, he was stripped away of everything he had, every anointing. So this is why he only pervert the things God created. So now we know feelings are from God. But the devil can use them against us. I want to show you a few things. It's always good to use the word to make a point. Mark 3 5. It looked around. First, I want to make sure that you guys know we're talking about Jesus right now. And this is what it says in the Bible. He, Jesus, looked around at them angrily. Uh oh, Jesus is angry. And was deeply saddened by the hard hearts. Then he said to the men, Hold out your hand. So the man held out his hand. And he was restored. Jesus was angry. And his anger moved them to restore the hand of a man. This is powerful. Let's look at another verse. Because remember what the word says. To witness. John eleven thirty eight. Jesus was still angry as he arrived at the tomb at the tomb, excuse me. A cave with a stone roll across its entrance. Again, anger. It's very important. Let's go to another verse. John 12, 27. Now my soul is deeply troubled. We're still talking about Jesus. Should I pray, Father, save me from this hour? But this is the very reason I came. We're looking at Jesus. Ignoring some feelings. Some feelings should be ignored. Some feelings should be used as a tool to get where we want to be. Now, let's read John 11, 33, 35, to 235. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, her deep anger welled up within him. He was deeply troubled. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. Mm. I remember the Lord was showing me the scene. And 
if you watch much, more, much of the movies about the scene, you see one little trickle coming from the face of Jesus. But the Lord showed me, no, it was more than that. To a point that the people around say, wow, can't do anything. But the truth is, Jesus dig deep and took everything he had, including his feelings, because he had to release great power to bring Lazarus from the dead. So your feelings are important. I remember my neighbor parking in my parking spot. And I'm by the window. I'm looking at this. Not very happy. And I'm starting thinking. This is so disrespectful. I pay for my parking spot. And as the thoughts are going to my head. I don't really like my neighbor. So a couple minutes after. I see a man. Not my neighbor. Getting into that car and took off. He had the same brand of car than my neighbor and the same color. So if you think about it, what I was upset about never happened. These are powerful your feelings can be. And you heard about controlling your feelings. Interesting thing, I read my Bible a couple times. I never saw that. What I say in my Bible is control your thoughts. Because your thoughts fuel your feelings. And this is the reason why I Decided that I will finish school at one point of my life. I will not give up because I was angry. I was angry of the situation I was. My parents were coming from the Caribbean. And the sad thing is when you come in a country like Canada and you're new and you don't know anything about the system, most of the time you don't have much money. And I hated that situation. But my anger... And I said, anger, help me get out of it. And some of you have a situation that you don't want to tolerate anymore. You don't want to stay in this anymore. And the best way to do that is to use the feelings God gave you, not against you, but for you. Everybody who's watching right now, you have the power inside of you to make it. The only reason you're not making it is nothing is moving you. Last example. You put a man and a woman in a room and a baby crying. Baby is crying. The man most likely will finish to read his magazine. But for a woman, it's something else. For her, it's ripping her heart apart. Hearing a baby cry, she will run to the baby. And it's a good thing. This is why you and I were still alive. Because there is women who have strong feelings and emotion. And because of those feelings and emotion, cared enough to raise us up. Let me read one last verse before I let you guys go. Ephesians 4, 26. Be angry and do not sin. So, don't be afraid of your feelings. But if you want to control your feelings, you need to control your thoughts. And the only way to control your thoughts is to keep the word of God before your eyes day and night. As much as you can. Because every word who comes to you is a new thought. 
God bless you. Have a good day. And remember, thou shalt have good success. Joshua 1.8